Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins. What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Betty Twins. probably six months ago girl now. it's been like 40 sundays ago child i don't listen, know listen we are finally back you guys have been begging and begging and begging we are finally back girl and today we're going to be making our special six cheese mac and cheese okay are you, are you done now this is my recipe okay yes so as you guys know we are coming out with a cookbook very soon it's going to be called in the kitchen with batty twins volume one oh, and we're going to have 10 recipes girl Ooh. so make sure y'all stay tuned to know all the information, okay? But before we get into things, if it's the first time you're seeing our beautiful faces, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'm so waiting. So you'll be notified every time we upload. Craig, how much Sundays have it been? It's been forever, okay? Like 500 Sundays. It feels so weird having this apron on, like it's yes. been so weird. So today, Carrie's head chef. I'll yes. be assisting him, girl, because yes. this is his specialty. So you're gonna do everything that I say? Yes. Thank Guys, you. when I tell you this six cheese mac and cheese though. It's slapping. You when ain't I never you. had no mac and cheese like Kiri's six cheese mac and cheese. Period. Okay. So yes, I am really excited. This is definitely gonna be, this recipe is definitely gonna be in the cookbook. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all look out for that. And yes, I am excited. Are you ready? Anyways, let's do this grocery list. Okay guys, so let's do a quick run through our grocery list. And these are all the items you'll need to make our six cheese mac and cheese. Yes, So yeah. first on the list, we have our noodles, our elbows. Now the brand that we use is Barilla. You guys can use any brand. This is the one we and always the use. the regular size. The regular size ones. Because remember guys, when you boil this, it's gonna swell. So we have our noodles here. We have all of our cheeses here. We have our Montre Jack cheese. We have our sharp cheddar. We have our mozzarella. Oh, we, we got have two packs. We of have mats. two packs of mozzarella. Yes, you gotta let it stretch. Okay. What else do we have? We also have eggs here that we're gonna be using. Which is very essential. Yep, we have more cheese. This is cream cheese. Yes. We also have Velveeta cheese. Yes, ma'am. Listen, it ain't called six cheese for nothing. It's a lot of cheese. We also have some butter that we're gonna use. We have some evaporated milk, two cans that we're gonna be using. We also have some flour that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using some black pepper, some grated Parmesan cheese, and some pink Himalayan salt. Yes. When I tell you that all these cheeses are essential, correct? Yes. They are essential to it's, make it brings the cheese my in special mac and cheese, yes. okay? And I'm going to show you all in detail right now how to get the best six cheese. Mac baked. and cheese. Baked. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Are you ready? Let's so, go. So, Craig, you're going to start off with, you're going to boil the, the, the macaroni for me. That's <gasps> it? Yeah. I mean, you're supposed to do something, right? You mean just put it in a pot because the, the, the stove is going to boil it. Yeah, so you're going to put the water on the, the, the stove for me and let it boil. Okay, let's And then you're going to boil my noodles till they become al dente. Uh, okay. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. So while I'm waiting for my water to start boiling, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. So by the time my noodles are done, my oven will be ready. Okay guys, so now that our pot is boiling, I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to mix it around a little bit. Now guys, as you guys seen, I put a little oil in there, in the pot, and that's to prevent the noodles from sticking together. You just keep a little oil in there, a little cooking oil, and your noodles will be good. Now you just pour your noodles in. You can also turn the stove down a little bit. Then you're gonna stir the pot and make sure that all the noodles is like not sticking together. Okay, we're good. Now you can add the lid back to the pot. 
And we're gonna let that boil for seven to eight minutes until the noodles are al dente. Which, until they're what? Al dente. Okay, al dente. Yes. Okay guys, so I think our noodles are finished. Let me start. Oh yes, perfect. So we had it on um, boiling for about seven minutes. This is perfect because you don't want to overboil it because you're already going to put it in the oven. It's already going to be baked. So this is a perfect firmness. You see that? Okay, time to drain the water off, Craig. Let's go. So I did drain the noodles, so now I put it back in the pot and I'm about to add some butter to that, like this. Mm -hmm. Add butter to it, mix it in. So what he did was he put the pot back on the same burner that was already on, yeah. so it's still a little bit hot. Let me make sure that butter melts out. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of the noodles too. The firmness, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, just a tops, not too much. That's good enough. And then we're also gonna add some salt. And not too much salt either, just a little bit. That's good? Yes, that's good. And then we're gonna mix it in. Ooh, that smells good already, child. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, so now we're gonna move the noodles um, to the side and we're gonna get down to the thick of things, okay? The into most the, important part. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Let's go. Okay guys, so it's time to get into the core of my six cheese baked mac and cheese. Now this is the section where people mess up, okay? You can't just boil the noodles and just put it in the pan and just put the cheese on it, girl. You have to prepare the cheese, okay? This is the most important procedure. Look how it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna take one tablespoon of butter Gonna put that in my pot. Come on, girl. Oh, shout out to Janice for my Alclad pot. Ooh, yeah. girl, Janice, you came through with an Alclad set, girl. Listen, honey, and it, and it wasn't cheap. So shout out to Janice, honey. Now let me turn this down a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure um, the butter is all over the pot. Okay. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon. Actually, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of flour in the pot. Half a teaspoon, okay? Like so. Then you're gonna mix that in with the butter. Mix that in. And then you're gonna kinda let that kinda thicken up a little bit. Mmm, that smells so good, Craig. I love the can smell of butter. Can y'all smell it? Can y'all smell it? I'm sure y'all can smell that. So, I have the stove now on medium low. You don't want it to be too high because you don't want your butter to, um, burn. to burn. And because I added that half a teaspoon of flour, you don't want that to burn either. So okay, it's kind of thickening up a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add one can of my evaporated milk. Ooh. Add the whole pan, okay? Stir that a little bit. And you're gonna let this come to, not a boil, but heat it up a little bit before you start adding your cheese. And it's good to have one of these things when you're doing this, okay? This is a spatula, A I spatula, think. yes. So let this heat up for like three to five minutes and then I will be right back. All right guys, now that our concoction is warm enough, look, you see the heat coming up? Look, you see the heat? Comment down below if y'all see the heat. Okay, time to start adding our cheese. Now, one vital ingredient in this is cream cheese. And all a lot of people don't think that you would put cream cheese in macaroni and cheese, girl. But when I tell you this makes a whole lot of difference, this is gonna give you that nice creamy, ooh, and I, ooh. Okay guys, so I had, a, I had a, like an accident earlier, but I added my cream cheese. So I was saying that it, it is very essential to add that cream cheese because it gives you a very nice creamy taste and it also gives the macaroni and cheese a very creamy and thick. And a slight sweet taste also, just yes. a little bit. So I'm also going to add my another essential, the Velveeta cheese. This is so essential. And a lot of people don't add this to their mac and cheese. That's why it don't taste like my six cheese mac and cheese, girl. Listen to me, I'm schooling y'all. So, okay, so I have three sections of this, girl. I'm gonna add this to the pot. 
along with my cream cheese. So these are the two essentials. You have to have Velveeta, you have to have cream cheese. And don't be buying that cheap cream cheese. Get the Philadelphia. All right, and I'm just gonna like mash these out so they can break down and I'm gonna allow them to melt before I add the rest of my cheese. And you're gonna see that it's gonna thicken up and look really nice. cream cheese and our Velveeta cheese is almost all the way melted out. We're gonna start adding our other cheeses. Now, I have two packs of mozzarella, okay? So I'm gonna use this whole pack. The first pack, I'm gonna use all of it in this cheese mixture. Mozzarella. I am going to use some of my char my char cheddar, my sharp cheddar girl, I said sharp cheddar girl. So I'm gonna use some of that in there. I'm also gonna use some of my Monterey Jack. Here. And I'm also gonna put some of my mild cheddar. Okay, and I'm gonna mix that in. Mix it in. When I tell you this is the essential part of your mac and cheese, you have to do the cheese on the stove first. And I noticed that a lot of people do not do that. Guys, look at that. Look at the, the, um, the mozzarella. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our noodles to the cheese mix. I'm gonna add all of it in there, okay? This is what a lot of y'all don't do too. Y'all don't put your noodles in the cheese mix before you actually put it in the baking pan, okay? Let me, let me teach y'all something. Okay, so now that we have all our noodles in the cheese mix, we're gonna mix that up. We're gonna mix that. You hear that sound, Craig? What that sound like? <laughs> Macaroni in a pot. That's a wop, wop, wop. <laughs> Girl, it's been a while. <laughs> All right, so guys, make sure you mix that in. Make sure every, every piece of noodle gets some cheese on it, girl. Are you dumb? And at this point, I'm gonna even turn the stove a little bit more lower. It's gonna be on low now. And I'm gonna make sure that all the cheese get on the macaroni. Are you dumb? Look at that. Y'all, if y'all enjoying this video so far, click the thank you button underneath the video to let us know. And also leave a comment down below. <laughs> y'all, hear that sound though. But look at that, y'all, look at this. Look how this looks. This is how your mac and cheese supposed to look before you put it in the oven. So you can actually eat the mac and cheese like this, but it's, even, it's gonna taste even better after it's finished making. Okay, so this is pretty much done. I am gonna turn the stove off and I'm gonna get my pan ready to finish up my mac and cheese. So here's another essential step when you're making your mac and cheese. I am going to do this little con um, concoction, girl. I'm gonna use one can of evaporated milk. I'm gonna add two eggs to that. Eggs are very essential because you, as you know, egg is used to hold stuff together when you're baking. So because you're making baked mac and cheese, you have to add eggs to it. Okay, I'm gonna put some black pepper to that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. That's perfect. Now we're gonna whip. Whip that in. Batty Orny, let me see it. Let me see y'all whip it in the comments, bro. Whip it. All right, that's good. So we're gonna move over to our baking pan right here and we're gonna grease her. I am just gonna add some butter to the pan, like so, a good amount. And then I'm gonna actually go in with my hands. I like to go in with my hands and get the pan greased really good, okay? Nothing like a good big old palm, girl. Yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna make sure everywhere gets a little bit of butter, a little bit of grease. And now I am going to add my mac and cheese to the pan. I'm gonna add all of this to the pan. Look at it. Look at the cheesiness. See, this is how your mac and cheese is supposed to look before you add it to the pan. Most of y'all just add the beer, mac, the beer um, noodles to the pan. That's not how you do it. This is how you do it. So that's all our mac and cheese added to the pan. Make sure you even it out. Oh, and this pan is a 11 by nine. That's the size of the pan that I use. Now we are gonna pour on our evaporated milk and egg mixture all over this. And as I said before, the egg is to 
hold the mac and cheese together so when you cut it it doesn't um, break and the ev evaporated milk is to add moisture and creaminess you don't want no dry mac and cheese okay now I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in make sure the juices go everywhere mix it in mix it mix it up mix it mix it up mix it in take your time you don't want to spill it y'all hear that sound though make sure it's soak all in it y'all hear that macaroni in the pot sound girl and now this is where you add the rest of your cheese oh to top it off yes Ooh. so pass me that um mozzarella over there mozzarella so here is how we do it Wow, look at this so far though this looks so good. Oh, I just want to eat it like this, here. Can I just eat it like this? No. It has to go in the oven first. Okay, so I'm just going to disperse this all over. You're going to what? Disperse? Disperse, yes. Oh, can I be reimbursed? <laughs> <laughs> and you can check the dictionary. That word was used correctly. I know. Okay, so then we're going to use our mild cheddar. Disperse that evenly. And also, when you're dispersing the cheese, you want it to look presentable because you know the cheese is going to bake on top and you kind of want that kind of white and orange look. So you got to make sure you decorate it very good. All right. It's not always, it's, it's, it's definitely about the taste when it comes to the food, but it's also about presentation. Okay, Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack, y'all. All right, then I'm going to add some more sharp cheddar. gonna mix this in and then I'm gonna add another round on top oh girl that's a lot of cheese yes that's how you get it it's supposed to be cheesy that is a lot of cheese honey so you basically use all of those things of cheese yes the whole entire pack yes oh wow that's cheesy that's what you call cheese and that's why I had to add the evaporated milk so it can suck up like some of the cheese mix that in See how that looks? Okay, now time to add the rest of the cheese. So we're back with our mozzarella. We're gonna add all of this now. Make sure you do it evenly. Make sure everywhere, even in the corners, get some cheese. This is gonna be the best mac and cheese you've ever made in your life, girl. You think I'm joking? I would like to see it. You would like to taste it. Okay, so the last cheese I'm gonna add is the rest of my sharp cheddar. And now this is gonna be the top, so I'm gonna be very careful how I do this. I wanna make sure that some of the white is showing along with the orange of the cheese, girl. Uh-huh. We gotta just do it in silence, girl, silence. Okay, y'all, guess what time it is? It's time to pop this bad boy in the oven. Are y'all ready? You ready, Craig? I'm ready, I've been ready. Let's go. I would like to see it. Wow. Okay guys, so we're gonna set the timer for 30 to 35 minutes. Oh my God, this is gonna be so amazing. So 35 minutes and then I'm gonna check on it. I'm gonna put it at 40, but I'm gonna come back to check on it when it, when it gets to 30 minutes and then I'm gonna see if it's brown enough on top. Okay, so it can take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. 30, 35, 40 minutes, okay? It depends on how oveny your oven is ovening, okay? Um, that doesn't make no sense. My man. So we'll be right back. Mm. Oh wait, you guys are there? Um, guys, I felt a little bit parched, so I had to suck on my coldest water bottle. Okay, make sure you click the link in the description to get your very own. And use the code PARCHED to get 10% off your entire order. Are you dumb? Mmm. Mmm. Get yours now. Look at that cheese forming. You see that beautiful color? You see how I placed the cheese strategically? 
Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> let me leave her, let her bake. See y'all in a second. Almost done, guys. This still needs to brown a little bit more and the cheese is not all the way melted yet. So I'm gonna pop it back in for 10 minutes or so. Um, so it's half an hour now. It's probably gonna go to full 40 minutes, but I'm gonna keep checking it though. So see y'all again in a second. So guys, we have three minutes left on the clock, but I think I'm gonna stop it right now because I looked through the window and I think my macaroni and cheese is done now. I am going to show y'all how it looks in a second. So cancel that. The oven is off. This is how it's looking right now. See how it's nice and brown on top. I'm gonna take her out so you can get a better view. Guys, so our six cheese baked mac and cheese is done. Wow. Let me take it out, put it up here. It's the golden nest for me. Look how golden this is. Okay guys, so we love when our mac wow. and cheese have this kind of slightly kind of look kind of burnt, but it's not on top cause we like when it's crispy. When it's crispy. Yes. So now guys, time to top it off with some Parmesan cheese on top. Yo, the amount of cheese that's in the six cheese mac and cheese. Ooh. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of uh, Parmesan Let me tell you, y'all gonna off. need to cook this 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 recipe for y'all barbecues, for y'all Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, for y'all Christmas dinner. Listen. I would like to see it. So now I'm going to allow it to cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're gonna cut it and do a quick little taste test, okay? Make sure y'all get your taste buds ready. It's gonna be tasty. I would like to see it. time to try this to see how it tastes i am so excited listen let me get a good ooh ooh, ooh. y'all hear the sound y'all hear how crispy that is ooh ooh that's the best part too that the end right there ooh so yeah um we made it cool down for like say 25 minutes so it is still warm oh and moist. i can tell that this is gonna taste so good ooh, All right, so, ooh. come on craig ooh Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at the mozzarella. Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that, yo. So cheesy. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, okay, move dunk. that to the side. Ooh, look at the mozzarella. Okay, Kira, let's get eight. Let's get two forks. We're about to try it, yo. Look at that. So we could try. Look oh, at God. that. Ooh. Get two forks, Frank. This looks so good. Ooh. Listen, we need to get a cooking show or something. Look at this. It's the cheese for me. Look, Look at a, this. It's a crust at the top for me. And you see how the macaroni and cheese is, is not falling apart? It's held together? Look at it. Uh, and look at the crust on the top. Are ooh. you dumb? Ooh. Are you Care, dumb? Kira, we need to try this. Try it, try it, Craig. Oh my God. Let me see you try it. I think I can. Try it. I'm acting like I, I, I know how this tastes already. You ain't had my mac and cheese All right, before. so I want the end, I want the end of this. Because uh -huh. I like the crispy. Oh my God, y'all. Ooh, my mouth is watering, child. Ooh, come on. Come on, Chris. Let's see. Girl, what is going on? I need some feedback. First of all, before you should have let the 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 baddie army give the baddie army piece. I'm gonna give them piece. Give them a nice piece with a nice top. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Oh, look that. at that steam still coming out. Mm. And look at the mozzarella. Mmm, yeah. When I tell you, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you hungry, girl? Yeah. Or it just tastes damn good. Both. <laughs> Actually, so you're gonna be the taste tester for this video. Uh Cause I'm on a diet, so I'm not gonna be having any. Mm. So, ooh, look at the mozzarella. Mm. So, Craig, how how much out of um mm. out of five you give this? A hundred. A hundred out of five. 
So guys, this will definitely this recipe will definitely mm. be in the cookbook coming soon, okay? In the kitchen mm. with Batty Twins, volume one. This mm. will be one of the ten recipes, okay? Mm. This looks so amazing. And of course it tastes much better. <sighs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I'm not playing. This he is over. not playing. Look at that. Mm. The skinny legend is not playing. Mm. Yes. Mm. You think that's skinny legend, girl? Girl, I'm going to be in the gym tomorrow, girl, on the treadmill. Mm -hmm, mm. Mm. The flavor. Oh, my God. It just, it's so real. Like The flavors. It's just so real. Listen, YouTube, y'all is playing. Y'all need to come up with either uh y'all need to come up with a, a smell o vision and a taste o vision, girl. So our audience can smell and taste the food. But anyways, y'all. It's the mac and cheese for me. This fix cheese. Baked mac and cheese. Curve one more bite. Ooh. Girl, I just did a whole mukbang. Can you get out of my face right now? Oh. <laughs> that mac and cheese. Listen. Listen, I did that. Let listen. Let, let me let me know down in the in the description what you guys think about this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and make sure you click the thanks button to show your appreciation. And listen, this recipe will be in the cookbook. Yes, I think I, I'm gonna say the cookbook will come out right in time for um, Thanksgiving. Okay, August September. Okay, okay, that's cute. August September, October, yes. November. Yes. Oh. Okay. November. Okay. Yeah. So guys, um, thank you guys for sticking there in there with us. Okay. We love and appreciate you guys. I know you guys have been waiting for more cooking videos. The cooking videos are back in full effect, girl. Listen, yes, I'm ready to go finish the rest of this mac and cheese. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about the, the video. And if you have suggestions, like you could comment down below and tell us the the different ways. Because everybody have different ways of cooking and how they make their mac and cheese. Yes. So y'all could comment down well, below. Well, ain't nobody make their mac and cheese like mine, girl. Girl. Big no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Six cheeses. Are you Are dumb? You, girl. Baby. Are you dumb? And also, if you guys recreate this meal, make sure you send us your videos and your pictures so we can see how good you did. Okay? And share this with a friend, a friend, a friend, and a family member, girl. Yes, ma'am. Make sure y'all um, subscribe, like, share the video, all of that, all of the jazz, girl. Yes, ma'am. And happy eating. We will see you guys in the next video. And as we always say, every, every day, day is another chance, chance to slay. So slay, sis. And that is on my six cheese baked mac and cheese. Y'all ain't doing it like me, girl. Love you guys. Love Bye. You guys. We have our child. <laughs> child cheddar. <laughs> we have our mild cheddar. We have our sharp cheddar. <laughs> really great. <laughs> really <laughs> I can't say mild cheddar for some reason. Okay, take two. We have our mild cheddar. <laughs> right, Carrie. Carrie, is your face behind the camera? Stop. Okay. No, we don't have the whole day. Okay, we have. <laughs> Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.